Hi Capricorn, welcome to your weekly forecast for July 11th through 17th. This is going to be for Capricorn Sun, Moon, and Rising. You might stumble upon this video in a few weeks, in a few months, so you're going to see it whenever you're meant to hear the messages that are in it, okay? Keep in mind it's a general reading for the collective. Not every single message is going to resonate and that's okay, so take what does and leave what doesn't. Without further ado, my dears and my darlings, let's see what's coming up here for Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon, and Capricorn Rising. We do have a full moon in Capricorn happening this week on the 13th. And it, even if you're not sensitive to moon energy, uh, like I'm a water sign and us water signs tend to be super sensitive to moon energy. But even if you're not someone who's sensitive to moon energy, in my experience, one thing I've noticed, when the full moon is in your sign, you may feel it uh, a lot more than usual. So we're going to see what messages come up and how that full moon energy may be affecting you all in the week ahead, as well as just in general what your messages are here. So first card coming up here for the Capricorn Collective is the High Priestess. So you could be dealing with Pisces or Taurus energy. Uh, it can also be somebody who is Pisces or Taurus in their placements. So Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. If you have Pisces or Taurus placements, there could be big changes or big shifts happening for you in those areas of your life or in those houses. Now, this is a major arcana card. So the major arcana cards are going to come up when you're coming into a significant time in your life. It's a new chapter. It's a defining moment. The things that you're experiencing at this time are directly connected to things you came here to learn and accomplish and master. So it's, it's big energy. Even though I'm setting the intention for a seven-day period of time, uh, the major arcana cards tell us that Whatever's happening for you here in the next seven days is setting a series of events in motion that are going to be around for a while. The High Priestess is about inner knowing. It's about confidence. It's about intuition. It's about going within for answers as opposed to searching outside of yourself. There's a sage wisdom here uh, with, the, with the High Priestess. So if you're a Capricorn that's been struggling with confidence or you've felt really uncertain in your life and you're searching outside of yourself for answers, um, you may find that a lot of this is actually inside of yourself. Uh, something similar came up for Pisces, so I'm curious how many of you may have a Pisces placement uh, where it was like, you know, like for them, I was feeling like they were trying to figure out spirituality or their beliefs around spirituality, religion, you know, connection to God, to universe. And like they were maybe doing a lot of research and studying and talking to different gurus and teachers. And then they were going to be like going within and finding that this is already inside of themselves. Like it's already written on your heart. And so you just need to be still and go within and you're going to find that connection inside of yourself. So Capricorn, some of you may be experiencing something similar on your spiritual journey. High Priestess energy for me in general can also be that you're coming into a time uh, where you're really aligning. You're really healing. You're, you're coming into a powerful uh, healing and cleansing and connecting to God, to higher power. So as you step into this energy... Uh, you might begin to attract a lot of attention. There may be a lot of people that are wanting to be near you or spending time with you or chasing after you. And the one thing we need to learn when we're in high priestess energy is that not everybody who wants us gets to have us because some people might be wanting to latch on to us parasitically and like feed off of our energy because they're too scared to do their work and they're seeing us as source. So Capricorn, a lot of you are coming into this level of healing where like you're beginning to raise your vibration, raise your frequency, you start feeling good, you start 
feeling like you're opening up and then you have these people latching on to you and over time <clears throat> it can feel very draining like oh gosh like these people are weighing me down so don't be scared to set boundaries physical boundaries energetic boundaries uh, don't be afraid to do that because not everybody who wants you gets to have you and that's something some of you Capricorns are going to be figuring out the next card that's coming up here for you all is the tower well my dears now we have major arcana cards coming in back to back for me in my readings when major arcana cards come in back to back it tells me you're entering a time where there's going to be big changes in a short period of time and a lot of the times in my readings when major arcana cards come in back to back you're clearing out a lot of old beliefs a lot of old contracts uh, contracts and promises or agreements that you made in previous lives and past lives uh, and some of you maybe in previous lives had entered into contracts of, of bondage in one way or another maybe you had uh, vowed yourself quite literally into bondage with someone like you know uh, you pledged your soul for all of eternity uh, and so some of you are saying okay you know what not anymore right contract canceled contract deleted so some of you can be breaking out of something very uh significant karmically where you've been dealing with someone who makes you feel very powerless right like someone who takes your power away you're you're you're, you're breaking that contract or you're breaking that connection some of you may have made vows in previous lifetimes like taking vows of poverty uh, for religious reasons or vows of celibacy for religious reasons and so these are things that you might feel in this lifetime why am i always broke or why am i having such a hard time with my love life you know and so there may be contracts or agreements from previous lifetimes that you're breaking in this lifetime and you're saying okay that is no longer valid that is no longer a way in which i'm living so many of you capricorns are going to be breaking past life agreements contracts vows uh with this major arcana energy coming in back to back the tower card can also be a sudden change a sudden shift and something having to do that's pushing you out of your comfort zone for me in my readings the tower card is like you've been holding on to something for too long and your angels and guides are like this is just it's painful to see you suffer and you're scared to make the changes so we're going to come in and we're going to remove this situation so that you're able to move on and get unstuck there may be some kind of like a, i call it the cosmic prison break your angels and guides are coming up and they're busting you out of an, a mental or energetic prison that you found yourself in so something to free you it could be mentally it could be like a mental expansion a mental awakening uh, breaking away from limited thinking seeing the truth a personal paradigm shift uh, it could be an opportunity that's pushing you out of your comfort zone but it's a time of change big change and permanent change the next card that's coming up here for the capricorn collective <laughs> Capricorn, I'm just going to tell you something here right now. If you have the ability, and I said the same thing to Pisces, I'm saying it to you guys. If you have the ability to, um, like, uh, control your schedule, like if you can uh, minimize how much you're working or minimize how much um, you're doing or taking on, uh, try to keep your schedule light in the week ahead if possible if you can't like say you have like a set job and you have set hours and you just simply can't change that um, maybe just try to keep your schedule light outside of that and make sure that you're giving yourself a lot of downtime a lot of time to rest that you're not pushing yourself too hard with other things uh, because you have a lot of major arcana cards here your next card here is the fool so these are big energies massive energies and anytime we're dealing with a lot of energy like this a lot of clearing a lot of ascending we're gonna be tired we're gonna be very very tired so some of you may be feeling very drained this week or just 
exhausted and you might be mad like the littlest thing is like taking so much energy out of you well make sure you're giving yourself time to rest maybe you need more naps maybe you need to go to bed earlier uh, sea salt baths would not be a bad idea for those of you able to do so now the full card is very much a card that can come up when we're taking a leap of faith we're going in a direction that maybe doesn't make a whole lot of sense to a lot of people but we're feeling very pulled very called very guided to do this and so we are taking this leap we're taking this gamble the message here with the fool card is to look before you leap yes you're being guided to take this leap and things are never going to change in our life unless we take risks unless we take chances but we want to take those risks and those chances in as safe a way as possible so calculate the cost look before you leap right it's like the saying goes follow your heart but take your brain with you so look before you leap and think before you jump but a lot of you capricorns may be feeling very pulled or very guided to go in a direction that doesn't make a whole lot of sense uh, to a lot of people I also feel, uh, Capricorn, that as a lot of you are, are clearing through the past life stuff, uh, you're beginning to feel called to certain places or called to certain uh, activities. Um, so maybe like you're feeling a pull now or a draw where you're really wanting to go to a certain country or a certain part of the world or you're really getting into like a certain culture and the language and the music um, this is all a part of your remembering your soul journey you're waking up you're releasing but in connection with this I feel like a lot of you may be picking up like old professions things that you did in a past life so like painting or uh, carpentry or all of a sudden you're like wanting to do like like blacksmith kinds of stuff and you're like what in the heck right like what's going on uh, like I'm seeing like that forged in fire show you know so some of you may be wanting to pick up uh, these old world um, skills skills or uh, crafts as like a hobby and so some of you might say, well, that's kind of nonsensical or, you know, maybe I can do more efficient things with my time. However, these activities are going to be like a meditation for you. They're going to help you remember who you are on a soul level. They're going to help you to release. They're going to help you to open up to receive. So it'll be very grounding and very therapeutic. Uh, and so don't be quick to dismiss it as something silly but some of you are feeling like you're wanting to pick up certain interests that seem very odd to you but the reason why you're feeling pulled or guided to these things is because you have a past life uh, connection with it and you're processing or releasing things from those past lives uh, for some of you it's going to be very empowering and very strengthening like getting your power back through these activities uh, it's funny because it's making me like I keep the like, spirit spirit keeps showing me a scene from one of my favorite shows uh, I don't know if you all follow it but what we do in the shadows and um, Nadia happens to come across uh, this lover that she had in so many lifetimes uh, named Gregor but in this lifetime his name is Jeff and he, Jeff is just like this guy who's just like, you know, very lackluster, very kind of just subdued, very just kind of given up on life, uh, just very, very going through the motions on autopilot. And she's like, what happened to this guy? Like he used to be a warrior and he used to be so exciting. And we had all these lifetimes together and like he's completely forgotten who he is. So there's this one part where she like hypnotizes him for a moment and she's like go back go back and remember remember who you are and so i feel capricorn some of you are having like that little shift like something is just uh clicking and you're like you're remembering who you were and you were remembering um all of the things you've accomplished and in some cases 
uh, some very powerful lifetimes and you're remembering the moments when you surrendered that power and you're like nope I'm taking my power back and for some of you the connection here may be through certain crafts or certain arts uh, that you're feeling guided to pick up now your next card here is very positive and that is the four of wands I know a lot of people are used to watching tarot for love and romance so our four of wands card here a lot of the times gets typecast as marriage wedding getting married and that could very well be the case for some of you some of you may be manifesting marriage or strengthening an existing marriage that can be the case but four of wands can also be celebration um, and so it can be um, maybe some of you are being invited to something and you're tempted to turn it down or to not attend even if the event isn't happening from the 11th through the 17th you may be hearing about it or being invited to it sometime between the 11th and the 17th but the event might not be you know for a few more weeks or a couple more months and so the four of wands can be coming up to say it's going to be in your best interest to attend you'll be happy if you attend this this will be a good thing for you i also see the four of wands come up when there may be some kind of like a, um like a feeling a sense of home laying down your roots a uh, security and stability in your life so some of you may be feeling like you're manifesting a sense of home a sense of security and like putting roots down uh, that can be the case for some of you as well with this four of wands coming up here uh, four of wands can also be family reunions maybe that's the thing you're kind of dreading and going oh i don't know if i want to go to a family reunion but you might be pleasantly surprised that you might actually enjoy it um and four of wands can be uh like uh finding a community that you feel like you can connect with like creating a sense of family uh through friendships or finding um causes or things like kind of like the three of cups three of cups can be soul tribe or like-minded people but I've seen four of wands sometimes comes up when um, you're finding a, 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 a play, like you're finding a community that you feel like you really connect with or that you really uh, resonate with or you feel like you really belong. So some of you may feel like you're finding your place. You're feeling a sense of home. You're feeling a sense of security. You're like, okay, these are my people. This is, um, this is, this is where uh i'm you know uh getting rooted getting comfortable getting situated and uh, something similar that also came up for pisces i do feel like some of you are going to be feeling a longing or a desire uh to be in like mountain area for pisces i felt like lakes like mountains and lakes but capricorn some of you may just wanting to be like going hiking or being in nature um, and maybe some of you are wanting to go camping or spend time um, spend time in nature spend time uh, specifically in like a mountainous place and if the mountains aren't close to you um, that might be something that maybe you're planning here for like the near future maybe you can't get away and do it this week but you might be saying okay well let me try to you know get away here in a little bit or or plan something to where i can go and be like in in the mountains because i feel for some of you there's something very recharging about that or, or like calling to you about that uh you may want to check out your moon sign and rising sign videos some weeks your moon sign or rising sign might resonate more than your sun sign if you are looking for more love and romance i do love and romance separately on my channel so the love readings for July are linked in the description of this video. You can definitely check that out. Um, and if you want to schedule a private reading with me, there's a link in the description of the video that will take you to calendly.com slash amethystangelite. And you can schedule a private reading with me there. I also do a daily message by popular demand. A lot of people have been wanting me to do a daily message. So 
check that out um, if you want to start off your day with a message. I thank you all for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. I hope you all have a fabulous week ahead, and I hope to see you all in the daily messages as well. Be well, my darlings.